What's up, world? It's your boy, the Bearded Brother, and I'm back with another beard review. I know, I know, I said I was coming back, but this time I'm really gonna try to work on finding my stride, and I just need something refreshing. So why not start with something from Stillwater Artisanal out of Maryland? It's called the Hot Pink. Uh, it's a rose sour ale spritzer. So not sure what that means. I'm going to assume it's going to be pretty light, very bubbly. Um, usually sour uh, ales are really carbonated and have a lot of bubbles most times, but this one's with a spritzer. So who really knows where the bubbles are going to sit there? Enough about bubbles though. Let's float on to what's in the beer. Um, so that's uh, it's with Grenache grape, raspberry, and lemon. So it's going to probably be a little tart and have a little tang to it but kind of slowed down with the Grenache grapes and being a little more sweeter because usually Grenache wines are on the sweeter side. Um, so I'm really interested in seeing how this tastes, but before we taste it, I'm probably going to get a lot of wine-like flavors from it. Um, it's going to be probably kind of semi-sweet, maybe a little dry. Um, usually Grenache wines and grapes are dry on the drier end. So I can only, can only imagine, but Let's not imagine any longer. Let's make this thing a reality. So, cheers. Hmm, pretty interesting. Um, definitely sweet, a little dry on the end, definitely uh, when you finish it on that dry finish. So um, do look out for that. So if you're not am really into the drier beers or wines, I'll be a little wary of this, but the flavor is really good. Um, you get a little bit of raspberry, a little bit of lemon, and the grapes balance each other out. So you're not going to have to worry about something being too tangy and just too sour. And it makes you kind of pucker up. Um, this is re very like enjoyable, though. Um, I definitely would eat this probably with kind of just like a little bit heavier cheeses or something like that. Like a nice blue cheese or a Havarti, uh, maybe if you want to keep it light um, and keep it kind of just refreshing. Um, I would even do this with like kind of like a sorbet of some sort, maybe even make a sorbet with this. This would be really good as a sorbet. So anyone out there that's got that special skill, holler at your boy and let your boy try some. But um, anyway, this comes in at 4.5% ABV, which is very light. So you could drink a few of these and not feel too lit but uh due to the sweetness so um i would take my time sipping this just because it's so sweet um but it's really light easy to drink and i definitely would suggest this to someone that really doesn't drink beer like that um again dope can art it's simple pink bright it can catch your attention in a lineup for sure um and so I do appreciate that. And they're not trying to do too much with the can art. Stillwater is pretty good with their can art. So I do want to shout them out. So any of my Maryland friends, they got some exclusive stuff up there. Holler at me and send me some more than willing to pay and or trade. We'll talk about that. Just hit me in the comments or hit my DMs and we'll talk. Um, but yet again, I definitely We'll keep this in my fridge pretty often, especially in the warmer months. Now it's getting a little bit cooler, so definitely would save this for the warmer months. Soon as spring kind of rolls back around, summer rolls back around, I definitely would uh, be sipping on this. Um, hold on, I gotta take another sip. This is just too good. Oh yeah, I like that tang. It's really well balanced. But yeah, definitely. Um, as you guys already know. Season three of the Beer Tastings, um, my podcast has kicked back up and it will be re premiering. I know I had to get married real quick, so just in case y'all didn't know, so you know. Um, but we're coming back, it's gonna be a super dope episode tomorrow. And so make sure you subscribe, like, comment, tell your friends, grab good beer, and as always, drink up.